What's up guys? So I wanted to do a video on pagination with Join Monster. So I was looking at their documentation and the way they do it is super confusing. They're trying to do it the relay style, which is a good way to do it with edges and nodes, but they complicate it for no reason. So I'm going to show you a simple way you can add a uh, key set paging. I think this is the best uh, pagination technique because it's just the most performant, it's the most efficient. Um, so I'll show you an easy way to add this to any one of your queries. Now the way key set works is you're going to sort on a particular column um, and then what we're going to do is just like give the place in the list we want to get all the items after it and then we limit it of course to. So over here I have the code um, for the previous video I did on Doi Monster. Um, I have all books query and this is what we're going to add a cursor to or you could say uh, we could say we could call this a key parameter. Um, and the key is just the place in the list we want to get all items after it. So this is going to be an int because we're going to use the ID field. So I'm going to add one parameter to that and then in my join monster uh, metadata uh, I'm going to do all books and then here we're going to do a couple things. So we're going to limit how much we get back. So we can set a default limit but let's make this uh, more flexible and actually we can do the set the limit here. So let's do int as well. Um, so you could just set limit hard code here, but what we're going to do is say table empty args and then say and we can expand this and just get the limit. There we go. So we're going to grab the limit args that we get from uh, the resolver and just pass it in and set that here. So then we're going to also have a order by. This we are, I think is just going to be static, always going to be the ID, um, but if you want you could pass that in as well. And then we're going to have a where, similar to this. Uh, and the where here is going to use the args.key. Um, so let's expand this, why not? Grab the key. And here we're going to say key, and we want to get all the ones where the ID in the table is greater than our key. Oh, and that's it. See, see how fast we just added a uh, key set pagination? There's just a couple lines and we already have it. Now there's one extra thing we have to do though, and that's just set the dialect. So if you were to go and run this right now, here I am setting all books, you are going to get an error. And the reason for that, as we'll see, and let me just refresh this so we get autocomplete. So the key will say zero, so we start at the beginning of the list, and limit will say two, so we just get a few books. So if I were to run this, uh, can't read property limit of undefined. Uh, well, okay, that was a new area that I thought we were going to get. So let's set, so this is undefined. Are we getting the limit here? Yeah, we're getting the limit here. Okay, we'll do, we'll do uh, a function limit in a second. Comment this out. First, let's make sure this does work with a static limit. So let's say 10. Um, and then our schema will come back to you. Okay. So I'll reset this, no limit, and a key of zero. All right, so we get this error, the type of pagination not supported in dialect. And that's just because we need to go to our resolvers and just specify the dialect. So where is it? Okay, so here's our join monster. So the last parameter of join monster, you can specify the dialect. So we just need to select that we're using Postgres. So not all dialects are supported. Uh, make sure you um, put in whatever database you're using here and make sure they support limit and uh, order by. So all right, so PG is for Postgres. And now, if we go ahead and run this, um, bam, we get the first 10 and we can add the title and we can get their authors too, of course. Um, ID, primary, first name, right? And we get the first 10. Coming back down here. So I just put a bunch of dummy, uh, I, have, I have the books from last video. I just put a bunch of dummy videos or books that are all the same. Um, so if we set the key and so this is easier to demonstrate. Let's just set the limit smaller to two. Um, and then rerun this. Sorry. So we get the ID of one and two. If 
I set the key to 1, then we're just going to grab 2 and 3. We get 2 and 3 here. And then you can just keep incrementing the key to the last item in the list. So how you would do it is I would grab, I would. this is the data I get back, and whenever I want more, I just look at the last item, which is a 3, set that as my key, and just keep doing it. Every time I want more data, look at my last item, update key. So that's how you would, you know, page through this. Now let's see if I can get this limit to work. I'm surprised it didn't. Because um, we should be just passing the argument and then being able to set it here. So here we go, limit um, is going to be an int. If not, I mean, we should be able to get it. This looks like it would work, right? It's a copycat of where um, table. Maybe it's this first argument for limit because it doesn't really need a table or it doesn't need any of these things, so maybe I need to change that. Sorry, so this should crash like it did before. Uh, all books argument limit of type int is required but not found. All right. So let's set the limit here of 3. Cannot find limit undefined. Um, so let's we'll just keep moving it over one argument at a time until it works. All right, cool, now it works. So for whatever reason, for limit, uh, you need to, it's the second argument, but for the where clause, it's the third argument. I don't know why it's like that, but it is. So, all right, so we're getting three. Uh, if we wanted to get more, we could. Let's get 10. And you'll notice we're getting all the ones with ID past six. So that, that's all it is. That's uh, see how fast you're able to add pagination in Join Monster. Very easy. So you want a limit, order by, and where clause. Uh, where you want to add, do, you know, greater than whatever. Uh, your cursor is or your key whatever you want to call it um, and then you want to order by something we're ordering by the ID here your where and your order should match right if you're checking past the ID you should order by the ID if you're doing it like for for example the title so that's another thing you could do if you wanted to order by the title you could um, and so you would want to do everything past the title and then you'd want to set the schema here um, the key as a string, so you have the title, the book, and by the way, this is a terrible way to do it because uh, it's a slower search than ID, because um, ID is going to be uh, indexed and title is not. So you want this, this you want this column to be indexed, ideally, because then it makes it faster in the database. ID is automatically indexed, I believe, um, and Postgres, and then also it's integer comparisons faster than string comparison with the greater than. And then in a limit, you can set this to whatever your application needs. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, this code's going to be up on GitHub if you want to check it out.